name's Mara and I'm with the Funky Spork. So today I want to talk about something pretty interesting and it's based off, our recipe's based off of this. Interesting fact, by 2050, we will need to feed over 10 billion people, and I'm talking about 10 billion people across this entire planet, encompassing continents such as North America, Africa, Asia, Europe, South America, and so forth. That kind of brings a question. First of all, how are we going to feed all of these people? And how are we going to make sure that we as a planet can feed all these mouths in a way that will not cause detrimental harm to our environment while also providing nutritionally sound meals to every single mouth within this planet Earth. That's kind of tricky. And especially given the fact that there are a lot of nuances when you think about different types of environmental and climate conditions such as climate change and global warming and individuals different types of dietary needs. However, we can look at everything from a global stance. There was one interesting finding that may have one solution to this big question. Earlier in 2019, the Eat Lancet Commission came up with a possible solution to really address these types of questions. But essentially, what the Lancet, Eat Lancet Commission did was they came up with what is known as a planetary health diet that factors in all these nuances. So what does this planetary health diet consume and what does it consist of? So if you were to take one plate and you were to split it in half, half of it should consist of fruits and vegetables. And the other half of this portion should roughly consist of whole grains, plant-based proteins, unsaturated plant oil, and modest amounts of animal protein, as you'll see in this diagram over here. And I'm gonna highlight some of the recommended targets within this planetary health plate. If we wanna look at a 2,500 calorie diet, planetary health plate should consume approximately 232 grams of a whole grain, 50 grams of tubers, 250 grams of dairy foods, 75 grams of legumes, 40 grams of unsaturated oil, 28 grams of fish, 200 grams of fruit, 300 grams of vegetable, 31 grams of sugar. So given all these nuances of what I just discussed, what are we going to eat and how are we going to eat it? Not to worry. In today's recipe video, I'm going to show you and guide you step by step on how to make a delicious, wholesome, nutritionally sound dinner that adheres to the recommendations of the Planetary Health Plate. So if you're interested and intrigued, stay tuned and I'll show you more. Okay, so the first step is that you are going to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit before moving forward with any of the other recipe components. So while the oven is preheating, you're going to begin cooking the black rice. So what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and load one cup of black rice for two cups of the water into the rice cooker. Press start button, cover, and allow the rice to cook for about 25 to 35 minutes or until the cooker indicated that the rice is finished cooking. Afterwards, you can fluff that with a fork. Now while you're waiting for the rice to cook, begin preparing the roasted cauliflower. You're gonna wanna start by coarsely dicing the cauliflower into pieces that are roughly two to three inches in size. Then you'll want to make the mesquite marinade in a bowl where you're gonna combine the maple syrup, the chili powder, smoked paprika, grape seed oil, and salt until well combined. Then what you'll do is you're gonna take that mesquite marinade and you're gonna gently pour it over the cauliflower pieces and mix the marinade with your hands until each piece of cauliflower is well coated. And as you see in the video, I actually wound up putting the cauliflower pieces into a larger bowl where I made the marinade. And that's not an incorrect step, so whichever one you do is really up to you. So while you're waiting for the cauliflower and rice to finish cooking, you're gonna begin on the lentil stew. You're gonna take a medium pot and add cooking oil let it heat up for about 10 to 13 seconds on medium high. Gradually add in the onions and garlic and saute for about three minutes or until the onions become translucent. At that point, add the lentils, vegetable broth, tomato sauce, turmeric, salt, and sweet potato and allow to heat up until boiling. 
Once you see that the stew begins to boil, reduce heat to medium low, cover, and allow the lentil stew to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the lentils have absorbed the broth. During the last 10 minutes of the lentil simmering, mix in the kale and cover again. Finally, you'll add each of these elements into a bowl or plate of your choice and enjoy. All right, folks, so as you see, we spent quite a bit of time together uh, making what will be considered planetary health bowl number one, which was a beautiful medley of black rice, delicious lentil stew, and roasted mesquite cauliflower. And all those came together to not create, not only to create something that looks and smells beautiful and delicious, but also adheres to the principles of a planetary health plate and planetary health diet. So, one of the most important things now is to try this out and see how it tastes. I'm telling you all, if you were with me, I would definitely share some with you because it smells incredible. Right now I'm smelling those rich earthy lentils that had the kale. And I will say though that these lentils also did have um, some bits of sweet potato and you'll notice that. And if you go back to that health plate, you'll see that tubers were something that you'd eat at a minimum. However, in the spirit of preventing food waste, I did wind up incorporating my leftover sweet potato at the end. And I also did eventually incorporate a boiled egg that my fiance had prepared for me earlier today, once again, in an effort to prevent food waste. So anyway, let's go ahead and dig in and see how this all tastes. Um, as wonderful. Right now I just took a bite into the lentils and I mixed it with some of the rice. Oh, it's so good. Lentils, I love them because they're very affordable, versatile, easy to make. And they have almost like a, a beefy flavor to them. They're very earthy and hearty, but they also have a lot of fiber and natural proteins and provide a lot of sustenance. So let's pair that with some of this roasted mesquite cauliflower. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very good. Wonderful. Folks, this is a very delicious dish. I say realistically, it took a little bit under 40 to 45 minutes to prepare when you factor in the fact that you are also roasting the cauliflower. Now, if you'd like to saute that, that is another option as well. But once again, um, this is a great dish to just multitask on different tasks. So while the cauliflower is roasting, it's a great time to just let the rice cook and then let the lentils cook. And it's something that you can just let go and just work on while you're doing other things, such as maybe some office work or taking care of the kiddos, you name it. But anyway, this dish is great. I highly recommend it. It is quite affordable. And um, I'm going to put some information on the Eat Lancet Commission below and some more information about their study and some um, more information about who they are. Also, if you are interested in seeing more planetary health plate recipes that really balance the nuances of eating healthy while eating in a environmentally sustainable manner, please comment below if there are any dishes you'd like me to cook please also comment below. I'd love to hear from you. But otherwise, um, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay alerted on any news or updates. Also, for more information about me, please visit me at www.thefunkysport.com. You can also like me on Facebook, Instagram as well. All right, folks, well, that's all I have for today. Stay happy and stay funky. Take care. Mm -hmm.